And Steve, it was definitely a warm day for those who were at Nathan Benderson Park today, but I heard a fun rumor yep. that we're getting some cooler weather. Is it true? We had a cool front earlier in the week, our first one of the season. Now we're going to have the first cold front coming through. I'm looking forward through, to yeah, it. You're going to notice the change. You're not going to miss this one. Well, today, as you mentioned, a nice day, a sunny and warm day, but a lot of clouds breaking the sun from time to time. And it, periods of the day it was kind of gloomy but all in all not a bad day it's getting a little more humid as our winds are switching to a southeasterly direction just pumping that moisture up from the tropics and that's going to set the stage for the big changes this week 75 the current temperature with some high clouds but mostly fair skies the dew point where we were uh, this time last night 69 uh, the actual high today was 87 last night's low 72 we're going to cool those off quite a bit the record high was 91 that was a monday and i did the weather that day back here in 1973. now taking a look at the uh, satellite view we can see those high clouds coming in in this infrared image which kind of enhances the higher colder clouds but down at the surface there are some lower clouds blowing in and you can see that increased southeasterly wind flow but no precipitation to speak of in our area. Just a few sprinkles down around Miami. We've had a thunder shower go over Key West, but all in all, mainly dry. This has been a beautiful autumn day across the eastern half of the country. Temperatures in the 70s along the east coast earlier, now cooling off. But there is a battleground going on, a major outbreak of severe storms in progress. This is what's known as a derecho, a line of severe thunderstorms that just stretches for hundreds of miles right down through the Great Plains. It's already produced a tornado just south of Oklahoma City in Norman, Oklahoma, less than two hours ago. It struck a casino in Norman as the Beach Boys were performing a benefit concert attended by the governor of Oklahoma. It tore off the side of the building, caused some water to pour in, but fortunately no one was injured, but there are a lot of downed trees and a couple of big rig trucks got blown over by the squall line that is now rushing eastward very quickly. That's the front that is coming in our direction. But do not worry, it's not going to be nearly that strong when it gets here, but it could kick up some strong thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and even the Panhandle as it approaches us on Monday and into Tuesday. And by Tuesday evening, this RPM model shows it just poised right across Florida. Some of the storms could be particularly heavy up around Jacksonville, Gainesville, and a big drop in temperatures behind it. Well, now let's go to the European model that has, <coughs> excuse me, just a slightly different solution, not quite as fast at 11 o'clock on Monday, still well up in the Big Bend area, but it has it coming through on during the day on Tuesday, and then the cool air filters in behind it, and it will brush us only for a couple of days. But you're going to notice the little brush with winter or autumn, our first autumn kind of cold front. What's going to happen to the temperatures? Well, again, the European model showing that parcel of cold air blowing over us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. And it's showing the overnight low temperature for Thursday morning at 61. I think it's going to be more like 57, 58 degrees for two mornings in a row. So this is definitely a change that we've been waiting for. It's the first hint that the seasons truly are changing. If you get to go out on the water tomorrow, it's going to be a little rough because of those increased east to southeast winds, 15 knots gusting up to 20. The sea is around 2 to 3 feet, and it's moderately choppy on bay and inland waters. So it's not going to be the best day to be boating, but uh, hey, it's Florida, and if you can get out and find a smooth patch of water, it'll be all right. 87, the high temperature of the beach with a about a 20% chance of isolated thunderstorms moving in late in the day. The UV index 6 is the sun's getting lower in the sky now as each day gets shorter and shorter, and we're two weekends away from the end of daylight saving time. Here's our forecast for tonight. Lots of clouds and breezy. Hopefully you can see that meteor shower looking east after midnight. 73 the low temperature, but it's going to be gusty and breezy. And for tomorrow, partly sunny with a 20% chance of showers. 89 the high temperature and here's your 70 outlook showing the changes coming 60 percent chance of rain increasing on monday heaviest rain late monday night into tuesday and then the cold front comes through and look what happens to temperatures we're in the 70s overnight lows in the 50s the first big change of the season it hasn't been this cool since april